Hey guys, so today we're back in Morro Bay and the last time we came, we just kind of went really quickly through the town. We didn't really get to see much of it. So this time we made sure that we came with enough time to really look around. So we had three things on the agenda for today. We wanted to kind of get to see the town a little bit more. So we did get to go shopping at the little shops on the little boardwalk. We also found out that if you go around the actual rock, there's this like place where you could see the water splash against the rock. And we didn't do that last time. So we're gonna do that. And then we're also gonna have a picnic. So that should be a lot of fun. We're currently at Walmart and we're getting a bunch of stuff because tomorrow we're gonna be having a little beach picnic. Picnic. So we're getting all the stuff we need today. We're gonna make some sandwiches. Got this to make brownies. A little table here. My dad likes these little uncrustables. Snacks, water, all of the good stuff, you know? This Guys, look, it's a massive thinking I'm about to beat this bitch up. We're about to walk around the rock because last time we came we didn't go around it apparently there's this section where you can see the water crash against the rock. There's squirrels everywhere, look at it, just chilling on the beach. Look at all these rocks. I think we found the location. We just have to sort of rock climb, so we gotta be really careful. zone wasn't really that big of a splash I think because the waves weren't as high but I wanted to show you guys what I got at the little shop we got this little penny passport book if you guys have seen my videos we always get little pennies from my mom because she likes to collect them then I got these two little stickers for my laptop this one says think happy thoughts and then this one says Morro Bay on it so I want to start collecting little pins I don't know where I'm gonna put them exactly maybe on a backpack maybe on a bag I got these cute little jewelry boxes made out of shells this is the one I got for me then I got this one here for my sister Christina so we got this shade thing from Walmart it turned out to not be a shade it's a little canopy hammock thing whatever so now we're just sitting here with the table but it's fine it's okay Estamos en la playa. Estamos en la playa. That's what by the way look at this cute little seashell ring it's actually a shell and they like handcraft it I don't know maybe saw through the shell I don't know but it's really cute we're gonna make some sandwiches we brought some tuna my dad brought peanut butter and jelly Gigi men people want to see you that's the only reason they're subscribed to me Gigi by the way, I'm only three away from 3K right now. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. Gigi, more this way. She's just making a little appearance for y'all. Okay, that's it. That's all you guys get. Gigi! 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 I need you to let me live here. We got these bougie waters. I thought I would manifest being in Hawaii because these are Waikiki Hawaiian volcanic water, naturally alkaline electrolytes, deep well water. Don't know what that means, but we'll try. Mmm, <coughs> tastes like water. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So me and my mom are having tuna sandwiches. About to try this. I don't know why, but sandwiches on the beach by the pool, they slap. I don't know if it's the chlorine in the pools, if it's the sand in the beach, but Maybe, yeah. Mm. This is the most aesthetic water bottle I've ever seen. We've made a friend. 
We're gonna call him Pepe. Pepe's getting fed like a king. Yes, king. No! <laughs> Gigi scared him! Gigi, that was our friend! Gigi's on guard. Gigi versus all these birds. Pelicans, whatever they're called. Okay, so I'm currently on the ground. We brought this blanket thing here and I put it down. I'm gonna take a nap here. Rubbernecking over here. In pretty tan so i'm inside this sweater and i'm just um trying to avoid getting more tan because you know as soon as i step out into the sun the sun loves to burn me not like burn where like i hurt but like tan i guess i should say tan instead of burn but yeah i'm just chilling inside my little cocoon in here you know it's pretty spacious this is like the episode of spongebob where they're inside the box and they have like all these things going on that's me with my little hooded sweater i even have a window look <laughs> uh. Good morning, today is another day. It is Sunday, no, Monday, it is Monday. And I'm here with my parrot again. Today we're gonna be going to the Pismo Outlet Mall. We just came to coach to get my daddy gifts because his birthday is on August 19th, which is this Thursday. So like a while back, we got him a coach wallet, probably like about two or three years ago. And he really liked it. And it's like kind of really worn out now and he wanted one. The other day he mentioned that he needed a new one and we were like, mm. now I know what to get him for his birthday. So we saw they had this like box, which is nice because we can like wrap it up. The wallet is just like your regular wallet, but it is leather. So it's very heavy duty. As I said, it did last my dad like about two or three years. And then this is just a little flap that you can see slide in here for like extra compartments and then the nice thing about this one is that it has a little keychain so i think this will be cool because he can go ahead and put the keys on there and that way he's all matchy matchy which we stand and we're on the freeway now we also want to get him this little like bag carrier caddy thing where you can put like your baseball hats in but that's at another mall so we have to go and get it over there so we'll, we'll have those two gifts for him to open everyone say happy birthday to my dad i'm sure he will love that we're back now and i'm about to wrap the gifts i'm actually really bad at wrapping presents but it's always fun so i'm gonna do it so it's nice that this is in a box so it's ready to go This is the other gift I was telling you guys we got for my dad. It's just an LA little bag caddy cap carrier thing. So you can just put the hats in here like folded and it'll keep them like nice and safe so they don't get bent. Okay, so I kind of want to do a little catch-up session. So I haven't really sat down and talked. I've just been vlogging. So today is Monday, and I have been trying to, like, work out consistently five days a week and then rest twice a week. So I feel like if it was up to me, I would work out every single day. But first of all, your body needs rest days. And second of all, muscle growth happens during rest time, not when you're constantly, like, trying to, like, rip your muscles apart. So I do obviously want to try to get on that mindset where I work out, but then I also allow myself to rest because because when I try to like work out every single day, the days that I don't work out, I feel really bad about it. And that's like not good mentally because I feel like your mental health has a lot to do with your weight loss journey or your weight gain journey or whatever you're trying to go through. So recently I actually found this TikTok where someone had like a weekly plan. This is it right here. It's by At The Sunshine Corner. And she had basically a layout for five days of glute growth and fat loss. So that's basically what I want to try to do. So I'm trying to go off of her plan because 
because since I'm at the hotel, they do have a gym here, which means that I can go down there and I have, you know, the ability to use the treadmill. I have the ability to use the weights that they have. And I didn't really know like what to do because I really don't know much about like training with weights or doing things like that so i found this one and it seems like a pretty good schedule so i'm gonna go ahead and follow that so i do have my little planner here as you guys remember i'm trying to use that more and i went ahead and i laid out every single day and actually i got these pens which are really cool they're colorful pants but they are erasable i love that they have a black option as well that's erasable because obviously i wrote this down in pens and now i can't erase it so these will come in handy if they actually work i'm gonna go ahead and write something like my name there i wrote my name right there let's see if this works it actually does work oh my gosh look at it it's getting rid of it i don't know if you can see obviously it's not like all the way gone oh my god it actually does a really good job of getting rid of it because you know sometimes these like they leave a little like trail behind i feel like that's actually pretty good i'm currently doing the 12 3 30 as you guys know honestly i've been doing it for about two weeks and a half now and i don't really know if i've seen a difference i feel like if anything it does give me a great workout and a great sweat which is why I'm continuing to do it, but I haven't really noticed anything like noticeable yet. But obviously some things don't happen overnight, so that's okay, I just gotta remember that. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep doing it because as I said, it does give me a really great sweat before my actual like weight training thing or like ab workout, hit workout. I just finished the 12, 3.30, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to like the weight training part of it. Give me on your good side, baby, with your angle. Numbers on the neck again, you'll be going left. Okay, so typically what I will do is I'll go on TikTok or either YouTube and try to find something that is related to whatever like muscle group I'm working on today. And today I'm working on back and bicep. Messy. But I still mess up. Kiss your neck, leave your drawers on the dress. Four arms and stuff because like, I'm a weakly when it comes to my arms. Like literally no muscle. <laughs> so I have to work with my weight and then hopefully I try to work my way up to the 15. How do you work it? How do my shirt you swimming? We grinning, never had a thing for weak women. Fuck. Give me on your good side, baby, with your angle. Know it's just a good time, tell me you your table. Numbers on the neck again, you'll be going lap down. In a set, one set, hot. Okay, so I'm on my way back to the room, and I'm gonna knock on the door and watch if he's gonna be there waiting for me. Sister, you're so cute! So Tuesday, tomorrow, I obviously want to import footage. Usually what I try to do because sometimes I'm in the mood to edit, sometimes I'm not in the mood to edit, but having a schedule to go off of kind of like motivates me to, to like actually go through and at least get some stuff done. So Wednesdays, usually I do my rough cut editing and that way on Thursdays, I don't know why, but I find that usually I work better under pressure when it comes to editing. So I do edit all my videos on Thursdays Thursday like the day before and I'm cramming it in but I feel like more motivating I feel like ideas flow to me better with my podcast I want to try to get my podcast back up but I haven't really found a schedule that I like I feel like sometimes I'm feeling it and sometimes I'm not feeling it so I don't want to like push anything and like force something out I kind of just want to be able to use it as an outlet when I want to go on there and like vent and rant and like talk to someone and when I'm feeling inspired for it I'm still trying to figure my rhythm out with that and the problem is that I don't plan ahead with my podcast as I do with some of my videos so I really need to like sit down and sort of just plan things out and figure out what I'm gonna do finally with that so stay tuned with that I do have part of a podcast that I did film oh my god the beans the frijoles guys don't tell my mom I'm supposed to be watching the frijoles and I'm over here talking to you guys Shh, please also trying to to uh, stay up to date here with my habit tracker. <laughs> I should probably put on my habit tracker, check off habit tracker so I can make sure that I'm like actually using it. So on my tracker, I had waking up at 6 a.m. which I've been doing pretty good with that because I have been waking up at 6.30 to go to the gym. I just like morning workouts and like fasted workouts. So I have been doing pretty good with that. I have been doing pretty good on working out. I've been working out at least five times a week. I have been drinking a gallon of water usually because I am a camel and I like to drink a lot water so i've been doing pretty good on that and then my last one was to read
30, 10 minutes a day. I have not been doing that. So I do really need to work on that. I have been actually listening to an audiobook, but I'm not consistent with it either. So I do need to make sure that I'm putting more focus on reading because I do want to read every single day. And then Thursday is obviously my dad's birthday, but we're gonna celebrate on Sunday because that's his day off. And we're gonna take a day trip to a different location this weekend. So again, make sure you're subscribed so you can keep up with all the California adventures. That is it for this video. Make sure you guys give it a like. Don't forget to go down and subscribe and turn on those post notifications so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video. And with that being said, guys, I will see you all later. Peace.